Welcome back everybody. Today we have another money making method. Today we're going to be making blurberry specials. So for this method you are going to need 37 cooking. Let's just get that right out of the way. That is one of the requirements. Aside from that, all you're going to need is one cocktail shaker throughout this whole process, one cocktail glass, one bottle of vodka, one brandy, one gin, one equal leave, or leaves, one lime, two oranges, and three lemons per blurberry special. So you're going to need all 11 of these ingredients per, um, per blurberry special. So that, that's quite a bit of ingredients. And you know what else it is? Quite a bit of money when you buy it from players. So in my previous video, I showed off how cheap it is to buy from the one um, vendor here in the Grand Tree. And we're going to be using that again to be buying all of our ingredients here since it is literally um, 1.4K. But if you were to buy it for the Grand Exchange or from the Grand Exchange for each one of these, so let's go over to him and see how much it will cost just to buy all of these ingredients just from him directly. All right, so here we are at Huckle, Heckle Funch. So again, we need one cocktail glass, one bottle of brandy, one bottle of gin, one bottle of vodka, one equal leaves, two oranges, three lemons, and one lime, and that's it. And we also need the cocktail glass and that's 100 GP. So just add that on. But this is just for each Blurberry special that we're actually going to be putting into it. And that's 1.3K in items. However, we only spent 30 GP buying it from Heckle Funch. So very clear and obvious why we're doing it this way. You can buy it from the Grand Exchange if you prefer that way and you don't want to spend the time buying it from Heckle Funch himself. However, I do um, suggest buying it from him and just walking it back over to the bank right over here. Because, I mean, honestly, you're, you're cutting into your profits like 1.3K, that's quite a bit per um, Boardberry Special. And let's go to the next step of chopping up some of our ingredients so we could actually put them into um, the drink itself. All right, so for this step of the process of making a blueberry special, you're gonna wanna take out a knife and one lime, one orange, and one lemon per blueberry special that you plan on making. So let's just say we want to make one for right now. So we're only gonna take out one of each, but if you wanted to make five, um, you take out five of each one of the fruits that you have, and it's, yeah, simple. So, you just want to use your knife on your lime, and you want to slice it. And then you want to dice both the orange and the lemon. So let me just clear up any confusion that might be with the fruits. For each Blurberry Special, you're going to need one full orange, two full lemons, one diced lemon, one diced orange, and one sliced lime. Now, that will also be in the description if you get confused, and you could always look it up on the wiki, but I just wanted to clear that up just so there's no confusion. So now, we have diced 21 lemons, diced 21 oranges, and sliced 21 limes. So now we have the complete um, ingredients for making 21 blurberry specials. Now all we want to do is take out one cocktail shaker because you only need one for this whole process. It doesn't go anywhere. You always have it. I'm going to take out one of each of these for all the vodkas, equal leaves, and then you want to take out two lemons, one lime slices, one orange chunk, one lemon, and one orange. And this takes up a decent amount of space. However, yeah. Wait, we did not obtain our orange. Okay, so now this is everything you need to make one Blurberry special. So from this point, all you want to do is click on your cocktail shaker to mix cocktail. And then you just want to click on Blurberry special. And then boom, 30 XP. And then there you go. I'm just gonna pour this into that and it'll complete it for you. And then we have one Blurberry special. And then if we just go ahead and price check this, that is 3.8K. So 
it's definitely worth it to buy all of the ingredients from um, Heckle. And again, let me just show off one more time on how to make it real quick, just so there's absolutely no confusion. And yeah. So here we've just taken out two of each ingredient. You can only make two Borderberry specials per inventory. So again, we have all our ingredients. Just wanna click on it, click pour. Oh, and we just fucking drank one, no. Okay, so be careful you don't drink your your board base special. I guess move your cocktail shaker to not the first inventory space because it'll replace it with a board berry special. But yes, very simple. And let's go make the rest of them real quick. To make this a little bit more efficient, if you set your quantity to X and then you make your X amount two, you'll always take out two per click. And it's just much, much easier to do it this way. Much more efficient. I think. That's all of them done. Let's just take these out in note form real quick and see how much this is. This took me literally like five minutes to do. And that's 76k. 77k. Wow. Okay. So that that really took no time at all. And let's go to the GE with this and see if these actually sell. Because again, that's always that's always a concern that I have that they might not sell. I'll just put those down a little bit. Wow. Okay. They did not sell immediately. Alright, so we managed to sell our Blitterberry specials for 57k. 20 of them. And that took me literally like 10 minutes to gather supplies and make them. So that comes out to about 340k an hour. That is, uh... That's, that's not the best. That's, that's really not. However, um, this is a weird time to be selling them. It's very early in the morning for me at the moment. It might be better if, um, better timing. I, I, I'm not sure. Maybe the price is going to go up in the future, says Rudel Noodle. Potentially, yeah, yeah. Um, I hope you all have better luck with this if you try this method. I mean, you get some very small amount of um, cooking XP out of it. I, I don't know. I mean, it's still somewhat decent. 400, 340k an hour isn't terrible. However, let's be honest, it's not the best either. But yeah, hope you guys have better luck with this. Um, maybe I just had bad luck. I'm not sure. But hope you guys did enjoy either way and have a good day.